And how deep is that? Oh. Oh. Look at this. Downhill skiing. Hello again. We've got back out. Uh, we're still in Hope, camping at uh, Harder's still, Farm. Still in the bus. We haven't left the bus station. <laughs> bus stop. Bus, bus stop. Bus shelter. <laughs> Whatever it bus is. Bus thing. Now. We're still here. Yeah. It's got lights. There you go. Yeah, it's still really mucky though, isn't it? Yeah. So uh, yeah, after a bit of a well, a bit of a lovely uh, day yesterday in terms of the weather lovely blue skies it's a bit more murky today uh, there's, there's bits of blue sky here and there we're uh, hoping that uh, yeah there'll be, there'll be a bit more of that uh, but we're, we're undecided as what to do today aren't we we don't really have a plan no plan so we're just going to put one foot on front yeah uh, we're aiming to get to see the um the, the plug holes at Lady Bar overflowing, that's that's one objective, but apart from that, we've got nothing else. Don't yeah. pop the studio, it's a bit too live. It's busy in the normal because there's no plastic. Yeah, so so that's that's what we've got. So we're gonna play it by ear and see what we uh what we what we wanna do. Avoiding as much mud as possible. Yeah. Uh, but apart from that, it's just all about uh, getting out. So uh, let's let's do it. Let's uh, get out. Get out. Come on, let's get out. Come on, I'll get out of this bus stop. The old oil pipeline. Jan Watson. And then there's the old tents in the background. A uh, bit of a colder night last night. Did get down to zero. And uh, this is the way we go to... Uh, Access Hope Station. It's a nice little cut through. And we're away up here towards Wynn Hill, but deviating down some lanes on the right uh, to get to Lady Bower. We've never been this way before, so all good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Upwards. Upwards. A fallen tree here at Wynn Hill. There's some people on top at Wynn, Wynn Hill Pike. First bench, uh, and this is overlooking the uh, cement works with the uh, sun on it and a good view of the quarry. Uh, you could probably see them blasting from there. It's pretty good, isn't it? And uh, you know, once again, um, same as yesterday, I forgot to start the GPS on time. But uh, I think we're only missing about 400 meters, really, aren't we? Uh, 10 mile. Don't say 10 mile. 400 meters. Looks like an interesting road going down that way, but uh, we're here at uh, Aston Hall Farm, I think, and uh, we're going down this way, continuing to uh, Thornhill, aren't we? Yeah. We've not down, been down this way before, and this is lovely. Well, we could go up there, but... Oh God, no, that's straight up to Wind Hill, that is. Yeah. On the west. No, no we'll, we'll just go around here. Very nice. If that's overflowing, the plug holes are going to be right going for it. Can you hear them from here? Oh, it's all right. All right, we're in Thornhill. Just coming through. There we go. Old chapel's a picture frame in place. Slack lane. Oh, there you go. Louise Jordan's story of Hannah Mitchell. We uh, covered her on the uh, Allport Wild Camp, didn't we? Yeah. Born at Allport Farm. Okay. Yep, we're on the right track. Lady Bower Ahoy. Free range small eggs, one pound per dozen. 
There you go, it's a bargain at Carview Farm. I'm going down to uh, towards Bamford Mill. So we've started on the uh, Derwent Valley. Ooh. And I'm going trudging down this one and uh, getting onto a special path. God, it's like a bloody Yeti coming down hill. Yeah. Oh, Ben. <laughs> yeah. Right, so this is where we're at. This is the uh, Thornhill Trail. This is the old uh, dismantled railway, isn't it, that used to um, bring to, uh, the stone up to build the reservoir. Yeah, we come across this curiosity. It's got climbers on it, sheep on it, tractors, sheep dogs, bikes, bikes. Any hiker? Oh, it's hiker. There's a grumpy looking hiker. Oh yeah, it's a, covered. there we go, grumpy hiker. But this old uh, railway line. Uh, we believe, I say, used to bring uh, bring stone over for the uh, building of the uh, the dams. Um, but uh, we're wondering if this is this is the one that used to connect all the way round to uh, to Tin Town to um, to Birch and Lee, um, because we were in Hope the other day, weren't we, Anne? Larking around, and we found um, one found, of found a butcher. Yeah, what, what, we found what's reputed to be one of the old. Um, the old remaining surviving, cabins. Yeah, yeah. The old tin from Tin Town. Yeah. Uh, walking along in Hope, just coming back from the shop, and we, uh, yeah, we discovered this, which is uh, reputed to be the uh, last remaining um, hut from uh, Tin Town, from Birch and Lee, that we uh, we investigated in another uh, early video, the Three Reservoirs Walk. And um, where's Jan got? Oh, and Jan's found something more interesting. <laughs> relatives. Yep, some random shoes up there in the tree. We're coming through this particular section where uh, say it cuts across this road and uh, there is a track that joins on the other side so maybe this was a uh, bridged in the old days so. yeah here we go it would have come over here and then uh, back on the trail Uh, no, don't worry. <laughs> Thanks. There you go, that's where we're at now. I think we're the wrong time of year for a buff tail bumblebee. Yeah, definitely. A bit of chip chap action. Yeah, and the old black cap. And uh, an excited looking badger. Look at that. Yeah, oh, there's your chiff chaff, isn't it? Yeah. Well, you never know. One can hope. Well, One can hope. Oak. We can't be in oak. Oh, Beautiful. But is, is it a chiff chaff? Is it, does it class as a bench? <sighs> there we go. <laughs> I can sit on it. It's made of wood. It's, a, it's his bench of the day so far. <laughs> Excellent. And, uh, there you go, it's an osprey as we thought. Persecuted so much in the 1800s that they nearly were extinct, as we know. And uh, we also see them up by uh, Bath, don't we, on the Welsh coast path. Yeah, yeah, near Dovey Bridge there's a nest, there's a nest in there. Yeah, there's another potential bench, this time a bit of a mystery creature, as, as Jan's described as saying, <laughs> it looks a bit befuddled. <laughs> it's, it's got a big tail, but it's not a squirrel. Um, but uh, it can be, uh, it can be, uh, oh, it can be perched upon. Doesn't look as comfy as the osprey. It's all right, actually. Yeah. No, go on. Ugh. Wouldn't it be best straddling it? No, lower down when it's. No, I'm not get, I'll never get off. I'll have an ear in me groin. I can, I can. I, can I know it's carved, but it looks even more befuddled now you're sitting on him. Yeah, I'm looking befuddled now, aren't I? What the hell am I doing? Anyway, reveal, reveal the creature. Reveal the creature. It is a pine martin. Pine martin. Tree loving relatives of the Stoughton weasel. Yeah, we've got a random horned uh, cow down there. But, uh, 
They obviously roam around here because there's plenty of uh, tracks, unless it is just this one. And it has escaped, yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, right, we go. Missing animals. More missing animals, yes. This looks better than the uh, pine marten to me. Well, is this supposed to be here and it's actually slipped down off the edge like a blooming pill? But oh my god, it's it's got a very long face. Oh, it's got a long face and it doesn't look it does not look happy that it's been sat on. That's all right. I still the osprey's winning for me. Right, what's going on with this one? Oh, very ornate. Oh, Jan Watson. Oh, there's a, there's a wee woodpecker by you as well. Yeah, yeah. It's a, it's a very solid badge. Oh, there's a badger down there as well underfoot. Um, you think this could qualify for bench of the day? Could be. And there's, there's hoof prints off cows, so even the cows come round here and enjoy all this. And it's got a quote look. It oh is, my God. It's in the wild places where the edge of the, wor oh, where the earth. It is in the wild places where the edge of the earth meets the corners of the sky, and the human spirit is fed. Art Wolf. Not sitting on him. Give me the evil eye. This one. I need to tell you what that is because it, yeah, it's obvious. It's a squirrel and a red one. Why me? It's like something out of a Disney film, this one. This is a nice, easy level walk. Points of interest on the way, views of Bamford Edge. So, what was it for, this train line then, Don? Uh, well, after a bit of research, um this Thornhill Trail was um, a two mile long um, narrow gauge railway which um, bought the, uh, yeah, the raw materials at the valley for um, yeah, the building of the uh, Lady Bower Dam so it didn't connect up to the other ones. This is just a, a special section of its own. Oh, well, we've got some roaring wild waters down there. And here we've got a bottom of parking club. Oh, yeah, good. Look at that, is that spectacular? We might be coming back here, we don't know. We will at some point, but we're thinking it might be a bit too muddy for today, but the sun's coming out and it does look spectacular. Yeah. So we might be back here in a few minutes. Right, just reached the fork and uh, we've deviated left uh, as the other trail, uh, that I think that later section is, is just buried in trees. It hasn't been uncovered yet. So uh, we're walking up this lane and then at some point crossing over very soon uh, across the uh, the edge of the reservoir this is it, we've hit the dam more artwork this time commemorating the uh, Lady Bower, so we've got Ash Upton, Lady Bower, Bamford, and uh, yeah, the bit of the train line there. Uh, there you go, look, the Derwent Dam. Uh, I think that's the uh, possibly the sunken church at uh, Derwent, and uh, all sorts going on. Oh, yeah, lovely stuff. Fully overflowing. That is one hell of a noise, isn't it, Jan? You are? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Morning, what? Hey. Great crested grebe. Diving for fish. Diving for fish. Not appeared yet. No. Still not appeared. Not fell down the plug on, has it? Hopefully not. There, it touch it. there it is, the grebe. What was that? The touchstone trail. Okay, that deviates off up there. But we're going back down here um, to the bottom of parking clough and we're gonna give it a go. 
Yeah, laugh at us getting covered in mud. Yeah. Absolutely worn out. Well, on the last video, it was a bit of a challenge. Uh, Abney Clough, there was a few places where we had to off-road and that was extremely muddy. Well, so it wasn't uh, steep as this. Was it wasn't as steep as this, but we I think we've learnt skills that we can utilise this time. We've just come across a couple with a dog and uh, really unusual. Basically the dog has got a ball and it takes it up an incline like that and it just sits up there halfway up, drops the ball out of its mouth so it rolls down and they either have to pick it up and throw it back up to the dog so it can catch it or the dog will decide whether to go down and retrieve the ball and it was it was mad for it wasn't it it wanted to do it again and again and again oh you know what dogs and balls are like yeah it's just so unusual it must take them hours to get anywhere oh they started off doing this trail on her tuesday <laughs> probably Right, we've made it back to the bottom of parking clough here. This is a this is a steep drag right up to Windhill. And uh it's uh it's not really a maintained path. You've got sections like this, but then we understand that there's just tree roots and bits where you've got, almost got to hang off the edge to get around things. So it's gonna be entertaining. If it is, it'll be entertaining. Uh, yeah, and it runs next to this uh, this lovely bit of water. Ooh. There you go, Jan tackling one of the uh, steeper sections now. Oh. <sighs> Look at that. Four points of contact. I do like a good scramble. You want me to go ahead for a second? Go on, go on. Right. Oh. I can get onto this bit without sliding off. No, I can't get any grip. Right. Continues. Onwards and upwards. <sighs> and on and on it goes. Right up. Look at that. Straight up. This is proper training for the coastal path, isn't it? Yeah. Right, we're coming up to a particularly uh, steep section, but uh, fortunately it's got loads of those um, tree roots, which are actually good for hanging on to and uh, pulling yourself up by your arms. So we'll, uh, we'll be giving that a go. <sighs> it's quite necessary for this bit. Oh, but look at the amount of roots there are in this tree. <sighs> they do kind of act as steps in some circumstances as well. <sighs> and it just goes up and up and up. And you can see the steepness with uh, the distance down that those people are behind. It's Jan's having a rest and I found a decent place to have a rest well deserved Ooh. right we've come to where this track crosses the path and uh, we think that's uh, that puts us past halfway which uh, those guys down there will be pleased about because they are all knackered as an experiment Jan's going that way it sort of deviates round in a big curve and gets to the same place. So he's on the flat. I'll see you in a bit, Jan. Uh, and I'm gonna tackle the, uh, uh, the other bit. Right. Up I go. And off he goes. 
and Jan may have taken the uh, flatter route but it's a longer route um, whereas I'm persevering with the uphill but this is a bit more it's a bit more forgiving and I think this does flatten out even more at the top so uh, we'll see you up there But it did peter out it got a lot easier and uh, we're at this gate now and it says uh, the walking trail goes right but uh, I don't think that's uh, that's where I need to go so I've got to work out where where Jan's going to come out is it going to be here I might have to sit on this wall and uh, have, a, have a wait Right, so essentially what we've done here is we've come up parking cloth and I've come all the way up to the top and Jan's on this route here coming back up. So by my reckoning, he should be coming through that way. But uh, we've got another couple of people, so we'll hang on. I'm just leaving my seat here and uh, I'm going up to, uh, to have a look because uh, maybe, maybe Jan was telling me to meet him at the top of Wynn Hill but not this trail so uh let's see he's, he's in a big blue jacket so oh no here he comes here he comes oh and so, oh, some oh, discarded socks that's not on yes we can see the top of windhill pike so uh we're heading off on a slow and steady one up there to get the views turning left off the path up to uh, Winnell Pike but uh, from this corner you can see down into the uh, Old Port Valley and uh, Crookstone Knoll and there's the target oh god steep climb I'm just having a rest for a bit and uh, we're both suffering from a bit of wear and tear over the past year so uh, Jan's um, sitting the summit out I'm gonna meet him uh, uh, back down at the bottom again he's gonna be planning our route back to the campsite but uh, I need to get the training in I don't get to uh, get on my feet as much as Jan so this is good exercise for me and uh, oh god look we're near the top the final steps and I'm pleased to say I've overtaken the group of younger people <laughs> that we were walking up with they kept passing and letting them pass yeah, we got the plane flying towards us again Attempting to catch me up, I've got to get a move on. Trick point is in sight. Let's get the views. There we go. Well, I made it. It's a bit blowy up here, but not too bad. Uh, uh, yeah, this is. This one's for you. Oh. And here are the views from this side. So, Hope Valley side. And, uh, we're camping somewhere down there, I think. And uh, cement factory. 
<sighs> and then uh, you've got views of Mamtor, the Great Ridge, and then in total shadow there, Kinder Scout. And this is the Lady Bower side, so Kinder Scout, Ashup Valley, bleak low in the back. We've got the tail, the side tail of Lady Bower coming through, Crook Hill in the middle over there. All the way over there, we've got all the Howden Edge, Marjorie Hill, Derwent Edge. Uh, yeah, come back around with Snake Pass in between, which is uh, close to traffic. You can see that it's, uh, it's just dead. There's just cyclists going along it. All right, I'm at the very blowy end of uh, Wind Hill Pike, so hopefully you can hear me. But uh, just reiterating the views that we had around there as well. So Stanage Edge going off over there. It's the uh, largest inland cliff in uh, in uh, England, if not the uh, the UK. And uh, somewhere down in these woods here, there is a wall that leads down. And somewhere down there, awaiting me with the route back to camp is Jan Watson. Oh can just nearly see one of the uh, plug holes overflowing there. Let's get back down. So, uh, it's a bit windy, my eyes are watering. Nearly there. Ooh. Right, he's a bit further around than I thought because getting out of this wind probably at these grotty tracks now. Ugh. We're away. Leaving that spot behind and uh, going over yonder to go downhill. We are starting the descent back down to uh, to Hope on this lovely uh, carpeted grassy path. So luxury this, isn't it? Carpet. Well, this is glorious, isn't it? This is uh, highly civilised. Oh yeah. Yeah, the door went meandering backwards and forwards. Alright, the grass has uh, come to an abrupt stop and um, we've got a stream going down here so we're on the alternate left path. Rounding the corner out back into the wind. And uh, I see a, uh, another footpath sign, and there's another route down there as well. down into the trees. Well, another change of scenery as we're coming round here but this is keeping the wind off uh, and uh, of course we'll come round into another sludgy uh, section. Going down here. Oh, oh my life. Oh my. Oh. Uh, it's not getting any better. Does that look like it's viable? Uh, right, well, we've got gaiters on, we've got the boots on. Let's just go through this, just try not to, oh my God, look at that. It's not even solid at all, it's just. <sighs> Absolutely dreadful, sludge. 
Oh, God. Oh, my God. This is by far the most dreadful path we've ever been on. It's absolutely ridiculous. I took a slip and there was nothing else to hold on to other than, whoa, thorns. And now I've got bloody big puncture holes in my hand. And this, oh. Just trying to look for anything that resembles a rock. I think you've taken the sensible route there. Thank you. Yeah, because I'm coming into all this, look. Can I tightrope? Can I tightrope it across here? Oh, God. Is it worth the risk? Well, I've got no side grip at all. And how deep is that? Oh. Oh. Look at this. Downhill skiing. Oh. And these are the uh, thorns. You know, it's all that you can grab onto if you do start to slip. And uh, we've got somebody walking their dog coming towards us now. This is exciting. Oh. Oh. At least they can let us know how bad this is at going up the other way. Oh my God, Jan. There seems to be, I don't know why, I'm hedging my bets on there being a bit of a ridge here. Oh. Oh. And then it stops. Oh. Oh. Through. Oh God, is it like this further down? Because it doesn't get any better this way. It's dreadful. <laughs> uh, turning back. The dog's just, legs are just getting right stuck down in it. It's only muddy on this bit. It's not really muddy. Oh, yeah. I'll say, you can see the uh, state of the boots there. It's just dreadful. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely dreadful. It's just... But anyway, we've deviated off now. This uh, this footpath is going to take us to Hope, but it's um, it's across a few fields. But they're they're oh, not going to be, that. not going to be as bad as that. They can't be as bad as that. That was the worst. Oh, this looks so much better. Oh, we're in the sun as well. <sighs> yeah, let's go there. The end of an electric fence. Yeah. Yeah, some fine work going on here. And a fine little style. Oh, and oh my, I've just sullied it with my uh, oh, horrible feet. Yeah, 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 I was just remarking on that on the other side. Yeah, it's looking absolutely fantastic, that. Um, I say, looks like they're keeping it low level with another another fence as well. And oh, I've got some of those blooming thorns oh, right into that finger. Oh. Oh, this is lovely. This is this is what you want on a day like this. And it's supposedly winter, isn't it? Yeah. So... T-shirt weather, really. Yeah, it is. Isn't it? Warming. There we go. Looking up at the top there. Can't see the pike yet. Mountain bikes coming down that path. Wonder why it's so yeah. muddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They've just killed it. Thanks, guys. Yeah. A lot of action going on at cement works there. Look, a lot of dust being uh, kicked up. Well, what a wonderful view. And uh, Mam Tour looking fantastic as usual. Right. Turn right and left. Yep. Dropping over here. And this. Uh, it was one of the lanes that we came down earlier, wasn't it, Jan? Yeah. Oh. 
difficult. Oh, and yeah. Oh, I'm going to deploy all sorts of blooming uh, acrobatics. It's so claggy, this mud. It's not moving. No. Enjoying yourself? Oh, cosmic. <laughs> cosmic. Uh, just passed a load of um, maybe Duke of Edinburgh award uh, dudes, and they're all looking fine apart from the one at the end who was struggling with a giant rucksack. It looked like it was about 80 litres or something. Yeah, however, he'd drawn the, uh, the, the short straw and had to carry all of the camping stuff. I don't know. Look at that. Great ridge looking absolutely splendid. What a great light. And we're not too far now. Just a few fields away, really. This one's a good one. Just a single plank bridge uh, going over this stream. But maybe this is deep enough to make a bit of impact. No, no, the clag. The clag still stays, yeah. Well, it turns out it doesn't matter about washing the boots because we've got to get through this first. Oh, always look for a rock. They've just stumbled across this outlet and this making a noise. I think they've got their own um, uh, hydroelectric turbine going. That's good. So you've got very new technology and then you've got old technology yes not exactly being utilized and then this wow what a wreck that is more of them coming towards us duke of edinburgh dudes oh we've got some moves but they're uh, they're not in there they're in the barn in the back but uh, we're going to take a left here and then we're back on the, uh, the road that we came up from from the campsite. So uh, not too far to go at all now. Back here again. Yeah, yeah. Over the bridge. Right. Well, we're back at the bus shelter, the uh, studio as it's referred to, and uh, considering we didn't have a plan, that turned out to be quite an eventful one. Especially that section on the way back, that was absolutely dreadful. Glad we don't have to uh, trudge through any more of that, but um, it's going to take a bit of uh, cleaning. We're going to have to let all this bake off. It's, yeah. Especially on the, on the backs of them. Otherwise they won't let us in the pub if we want to go tonight, but uh, we'll see. Um, anyway, I, yeah, I, I don't have a lot to say on that one. I'll say I, I, I'm pretty pleased that we had a go at Parking Clough, because it is a, it's a bit of a, a steep one. And uh, you don't know what you're going to get until you get up there. Um, and I do quite like going through sludge, it is quite good fun. But the, the boots stayed waterproof, so I'm happy about that. Uh, no, yeah, I say we're, we're recovering from some wear and tear, so uh, we're not gonna we're not gonna push the boat out because we've got we've got bigger things we want to do this year. Well, I'll do ten hour shifts all next week. Yeah, there's that as well. So there's the everyday, and then there's the uh, stuff like Wells Coast Path and things like that. Um, but anyway, we'll uh, we'll see you on the next one. Oh yeah, yeah, should be not. As Touch wood. Touch There's no wood. wood in here though, is there? Right. There's no wood to touch. No now. wood to touch. Yeah, anyway, we'll see you on the next one. Bye. Bye. Thank you.